Dang, this test is hard. What is the answer to this one? Seems like he knows. Maybe I could just look at what he's writing. This seems like something to discern. Hi, I'm Danny Gustafson. I'm Brian Strasberger, and we're with the Jesuit Post. Today on Ask Iggy, we're talking about discernment. Discernment has to do with decision making, but it goes beyond every little decision in our day to day life. This is about bringing God into the picture for higher stakes choices. And discernment is not about trying to choose between the good and the bad. That should be obvious. Choose the good. So if your options are to cheat or not to cheat, Brian, don't cheat. Discernment's really about how do we choose between the good and the good. Okay, so it's less, should I peek at the answers on the test of the person sitting next to me, and more, should I stay with my pre-med biology major or switch to theology? That's a great example, because the truth is, those are both good choices, and the answer won't be the same for everyone. I hear that St. Ignatius talks about consolation and desolation. What is that all about? Well, I don't know. Huh? I didn't catch that. He said, I call consolation when some interior movement in the soul is caused, through which the soul comes to be inflamed with love of its creator and Lord. Wait, what does that mean? What Ignatius is saying here is that when we're discerning, we need to be attentive to feelings of peace and the things that help us grow in faith, hope, and love. Do you know that feeling you get of peace when you make a really good decision? This is what it's like to be in consolation. Gotcha. So what about desolation then? Well, Ignatius says it's when you feel empty, hopeless, and restless. Basically, it's the exact opposite of what you feel when you're in consolation. So if you're thinking about being a pre-med major and you start to get stressed and anxious just at the thought of it, be attentive to that feeling. All right. I think I've got it now. You're saying that when I'm happy, that means I'm in consolation. And when I'm sad, that means I'm in desolation, right? No, not exactly. Consolation and desolation are deeper than surface level emotions. What it means is that if you're feeling consoled, that is probably the option God is calling you to. And if thinking about another option leaves you in desolation, that's probably not what God has in mind for you. Okay, so consolation is not the feeling I get when Journeys Don't Stop Believing comes on the radio. Iggy also reminds us to pay attention to the state we're in when making a discernment. He said that when you're in desolation, don't make any big decisions. That is to say, if you're feeling distant from God, that is not the best time to be picking a major or changing jobs. That makes sense. This reminds me of the suggestions that Ignatius gives for making a tough discernment. Because many times when we're making a decision, we keep going back and forth between two good options. We can feel excited about both, but we know we can't do them both. Exactly. Ignatius offers three very concrete ways to help you reach a decision. First, you can list the pros and cons of each option. As you're making the list, it might become clear that you feel more drawn to one of the options. Another technique is to imagine what advice you would give to someone else making the same decision. It's often easier to tell someone else what to do than to make a decision for yourself. The last technique will sound a little grim. Ignatius tells us to consider our decision from the perspective we'll have on our deathbed. Deathbed. Looking back on your life years later, which decision will you wish you had made? We got to think about dying just to make a discernment? That's not really the point. Uh, the idea is to benefit from the perspective you'll have when looking back in time as opposed to looking ahead to the uncertainty of the future. Once you've gone through the process and discerned your decision, it's a great idea to pray for confirmation. If you feel God's consolation in the ensuing days, that's a sure sign of a good discernment. And remember, you're discerning among goods. There is no wrong choice here. You're working with good options. So trust that your discernment process, let go of any lingering doubts, and know that God will always be with you. Thanks for watching this episode of Ask Iggy. Don't forget to click subscribe and hit the notifications button so you don't miss any of our videos. And if you have any questions for Iggy, write them in the comment section below. Thanks.